To run this Android app, we will need either an emulator or a device. Let's create an emulator. Go to the toolbar on top and look for this icon with the little Android on the corner and the rectangle that's purple inside. This is the AVD manager or the Android virtual device. Click on it. It will ask you to create a virtual device. Click on that button. We are given a lot of choices. Here we have a list of devices. As you develop your app, you may want to create multiple emulators so you can check how your app behaves. For us right now, the default one is just fine. So we will pick Nexus 5X. Click next. Once you pick the device, you will also need to pick the system image. System image means that we may want to load different version of Android on this emulator. Under the recommend tab, you can see O which is API level 26 or Nugget which is level 24. In general, I will recommend using the latest version. So go ahead and download O. Accept the license to agreement. When it is done, click finish. Now that it's downloaded, you, we can use it in our emulator. Click next. Finally, give it a name. The default is fine, then press finish. Now that we have created an emulator, let's launch it. Click on the green triangle. It may take a little bit of time to launch the emulator. So please be patient. Now that the emulator is launched, we are going to move it to the right hand side of the screen and then close the list of emulators. You may have to switch windows to bring back the emulator when you close the list of emulators. Great! The emulator is just like an Android device except it runs on your computer instead of a physical device. Next let's deploy our app. Click on Android Studio and then on the top toolbar you can see that there is a drop down that says app. Next to it is a green triangle. Click on it to run the app. When you deploy your app, Android Studio is going to show you a list of connected devices. Here you can see the emulator that we just created and launched. Select it and press OK. Once again, switch windows so that you can bring up the emulator. Congratulations! Here is your first Android app. Next, we are going to try to deploy the same app onto a physical device.